all of a sudden now the NFL is really trying to become like a global entity, so to speak. So the question I have to you is, do you think we could be seeing an NFL team in London sooner rather than later? Well, here's the thing. I don't know if anything changed about this recently, but I mean, the NFL moving to London has kind of been a rumor for a couple of years now, ever since they started the whole uh, having a couple of games in London every year. A few weeks ago, it was released that there was, um, I think it was the public relations guy for the NFL that told people that the NFL is moving closer to having a franchise in London or that he thought that there would be a franchise in London within the next five years. And then within the next few hours, he recanted that statement and went back on it. So my personal feeling here is we talked about the whole effect that going to a different time zone can have on, on you. To go from, you say, the East Coast to London, that's an eight-hour time difference. To be able to do that, you're putting players at risk. I mean, it's the same thing as do you want to expand the NFL season to 18 games? Do you want to expand the playoff field to 14 or 16 teams? The NFL talks about trying to do everything to keep its players safe, and then it introduces concepts like these that are so against everything the NFL would try to do to keep its player safety at the forefront here. I don't think there should be a team in London because doing something like that, you have the long flight time between games. And you're talking about putting players potentially at more risk for injury. Say you have a team that plays a Monday night game and they then they have to fly to London and you're looking at multiple teams having to do this all over the course of the season. To me, that's going to lead to more unprepared players that could lead to more injuries. And I just don't think it makes any sense for the NFL to try to put a team in London. But I think the reason why this has become more of a topic this offseason is because you do have teams moving to Los Angeles finally with the Rams going from St. Louis to Los Angeles and all the speculation that San Diego was going to follow them and everything with Oakland trying to get a new stadium in, in uh, potentially a different city if they can. So I think that's the only reason why it's come back up. But my personal opinion is the NFL, no disrespect to London, they should stay in this country. You want to have one or two games over there a year? Listen, nobody, no NFL team besides the Jaguars, because their owner has business interests in London, no team wants to play in London. That's why they have provisions in there that if you go to London, you don't have to make that trip for the next three seasons. That's why, uh, you know, the the loser of the Eagles-Giants game had to, had to make the trip to London this coming season. The Giants are going to be playing in London because they lost that game to the Eagles now. Nobody wants this except the NFL who sees more dollar signs out there. That's all this is. And you can't say that you're concerned about your player safety more than anything if you continue to introduce concepts like having a team in London so that everyone has to make that eight-hour time difference, or if you continue to do things like say that you should expand the regular season or expand the playoffs. Leave it as it is. Didn't they have a European league a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken? That was that was supposed. It was kind of like a minor league for the NFL. But yeah, they they had it. I don't. I, I if I, I could be wrong, but I don't think they played in the same seasons as the NFL. I think they were more of a spring league. But well, that went on for about five or six years, and then uh, they uh, they put it out of business. It's defunct now. But my only thing, though, that I don't understand is. All of a sudden now people are so big into wanting a team in London. It's like, it doesn't make any sense to me, the whole thing. No, this, is, this is all just because the NFL is trying to milk every last dollar out of this that they can. They see that the couple games they've gone over to England have actually sold out, sold out drawn a decent amount of money. So they're just looking for every last way to get money, money out of it. And to me, they're putting players at risk just to make a couple extra bucks. That's all it is. This is like the Thursday night games. You know, the Thursday night games, the quality got a little bit better this season, but nobody wants to play on Thursday night. You know, you got the five-day turnaround there for a while, 
the quality of the games on Thursday night was so freaking terrible, but the only reason they did it was because the NFL saw a whole new market there and a couple extra dollars they could get out of it. So, you know, it's all it's it's all about Roger Goodell trying to get as much money for the owners as possible. And he puts player safety in jeopardy every time he does something like it.